Hey, this is episode five of Living in the Mitten, and we had a lot accomplished over this last week. Uh, let's see. First thing is we had DL Beer and Concrete out of Grand Ledge pour this concrete slab out here, and so now our patio has a uh, concrete. So that's cool, and of course that means that the inside got done as well. So the inside has all the concrete poured, and like I said, DL uh, DL Baron did the concrete there. And then you can see over there um, the meter for electricity. And we had Sparky's Electric in Grand Ledge do that. They did set the uh, meter inside in the wrong spot, but they did move it over for me, so that was awesome. Today we had consumers come out and put the electrical pole out by the road. So we'll be getting power in here over the next week or less. And I'm gonna take it inside and we've been doing some framing and stuff in there as well. So check this out. All right, so I came around to the other side of the house and I walked in the main front door. My father-in-law helped me do a lot of this framing. Pretty much he did 90%. I cut the wood and he put, busted it out really quick. And then I've just kind of been putzing around, kind of touching things up in areas that we didn't get finished. Uh, but he did the majority of the work, so I don't want to take credit for it at all. And I'm going to walk through it, but I know in picture it really doesn't do it justice. So you're going to come into the house and there's the vaulted ceiling and... This is where the spiral staircase is going to go right here. Spiral staircase is going to go upstairs to the loft and where the vaulted um, loft is. So anyhow, come in here. Fireplace will be right there. And then as you look down here, um, it's a small house, small barn house, like I say. And right there is the living room, dining room, and the kitchen. Um, where all the lumber is piled at is kind of where the back of the kitchen will be. Um, then you have the door. I was just standing out there, kind of talking. And then behind there, where you see the ladder, that is going to be the mechanical room. That is the electrical panel that they put in. And they just had to move it over a little bit for me so I could have a little bit more room. Then over here, you see that I have my radiant floor heat coming up from the ground. So that's going to be awesome. So right there is the drain for um, the kitchen sink. And then if you come back over here, we were to go straight ahead that's going to lead us right into the bathroom and so you have your tub you have a toilet little window and your sink and then we have a bedroom over here it's very small and then we're going to come back cut back around stackable washer and dryer and then right back here where you see the chairs that is the main bedroom where all the magic happens um there's our windows that you can look outside And then we have a small walk-in closet for cream. And that's really all there is to it. But we did a lot of framing. There was a lot of things that you had to think about, which I did not realize as we framed this all in together. Um, so it was really cool and helpful to have Crane's dad here to help us get it all set up and figured out. If you guys have any questions, want to know how we work something, you know, shoot me up. And uh, I'll let you know how we did it and what it took to accomplish it. Um, because I know this video will not do it justice to what it actually looks like in here. And what it took to accomplish what we have done so far. So right there where the spiral staircase will go. So I'm really thankful for how much we have accomplished. And next, I just have a little bit more to do here. Let me flip this around. So yeah, I just have a little bit more to do inside um, to get everything framed in and then it'll be reaching out to people to help me with the electrical and help me with the plumbing to get those things up and rolling and get some progress going on that. And then the drain field, I have reached out to someone local about the drain field. Hopefully they'll be able to help me as well get the drain field installed. Water, um, I think we have, of course, Johnson Well Drilling. They're the ones going to put in the well and they're going to do that next week as well. So lots of progress. If you have any questions, want to know more info about the layout, how we did it, or what it's going to look like in the end, shoot me up and I will let you know. And um, hopefully you guys have a blessed day. God is good. He'll take care of everything. He's taking care of things in this house that I wasn't for sure on. But there's still so much to do. And I'm not for sure how I'm going to get to that point. But I'm trusting in God. So this is also a testimony of God's goodness. Doesn't mean it all works out um, perfectly. Doesn't mean that it all looks perfectly. Doesn't mean that it's easy. 
but it's trusting in God, walking it out, and seeing how we can grow, we can mature, and we can see God's blessings working in and through every situation, even when, you know, it seems too much to handle, too much to know, too much to do, but God pieces it together, and so that's my hope and my confidence, and then the rest is all just for fun. So we're going to keep our eyes on Christ even while we build this house, and that's a balance because we don't want to just be focused too much on the house. We have to focus on God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So it's a good reminder that I have to continually do that on a daily basis um, because he has my hope and my confidence. And you know, what if this house doesn't get finished? God is still good, but I'm in belief in faith that this house will get accomplished and we will be able to see it debt-free. That's what I'm believing for. So you guys have a blessed day. Take care.